Okay, so today's our topic will be calling a web service using a jQuery. So, what exactly our plan would be? First would be, we'll be having a UI, a button, from which we'll be calling our web service through a jQuery. And for which I require a web service which we have already in place. So let's check. If you see, this is my normal UI. You can see this is a normal button. When I click, I make a jQuery call, right, to my service. We'll see that later, but let's see first. One second, hold on. First, let's see what exactly I have in my service. My service, I mean, when I click the button, it is going to call my jigsaw method inside my web service, right? So, what does this jigsaw method return? It simply returns a string and a date time now. When do you call the service? okay pretty simple so this is the method gonna get called right so when I create a service I get this is a by default structure right apart from this I have created the different method which does this job right <coughs> so let's get back to our ESPX page and let's see what we have done in jQuery so first of all if you are using a jQuery you will require a jQuery files right which I have already in my scripts folder so this is my script folder. I have the latest jQuery file. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, in my UI, I have the div in. I mean, a div inside which I have a button. When I call a service, it will call a method called as a call service. Okay. This method is responsible for calling our service. Okay. Next thing you will notice, I have a div called as a div response in which I'll be displaying my response, what exactly I have, right? So now let's go to this method, right? So if we go to this method, this method is pretty simple, agreed, the syntax is a little bit annoying, but once you get to used to it, and if you understand what exactly this Ajax call does, it would be pretty easy for you guys to, you know, make a jQuery calls. So I'm making an Ajax call here okay so that's the first thing first parameter is type type could be get post put delete but in our case we are posting something right <coughs> then the next thing is URL where exactly my service is located if we check my root one second if you my mouse is acting okay so as you can see I have a service right here on the root inside of which this is my service name right and inside of that I have a jigsaw method which you guys already saw so this is how you call a service method okay first is a type what type of what type exactly you going to hit get or post next is your URL <coughs> on which service you are hitting and which method you are calling third is the data in case if you are passing any parameter then data comes into the picture next thing is the content type content type is like what type of format you are sending to my method okay and data type is what type of response type you expect from your service when it comes back we expect as a JSON right <coughs> and after the response comes there will be two scenarios one would be a success and one would be a failure on success I'll be calling a success function on error I'll be calling an error function so so far so good once again I repeat <coughs> this Ajax call what type of call you're making is it a get or is it a post okay next is a URL URL is like <coughs> where exactly your service is located and the next thing what method exactly you're calling right third thing is a data are you passing any parameters suppose you know there are situations like you know you're looking for an employee you just pass the ID so it could be a scenario if you're passing ID then you have to specify the parameter down here right then the content type what type exactly you passing to your service so we are saying we are passing a JSON and what type you're getting back from the server is again a JSON right and in the end I have to function success and failure based on wherever it goes you can check the output right <coughs> so far so good right so now imagine now we hit the service and based on that we got the response right when we get the response we know 
okay this is jquery please ignore it for right now this is important line you gotta see it this line means I have a div downstairs this is a div in which I'm trying to put some text right and the text is nothing but a response which I got from my service right so it's pretty simple don't look at the I mean this is basic styling stuff I've done using jQuery I mean it can be done very easily you know <coughs> so this is the main line and what if I get the failure if I get the failure then I have this is the error method right so I'm gonna put what exactly I got wrong what happened wrong with my service right so let's run okay all right it's in the running state so okay let's run one more time if you run this thing you see this is a check method okay when I click on this method whoops I got 500 internal server error. that means my service was not locatable so what I'll do is let's go I did this on purpose to show you when you create a service right when you create a service you and if you're making an Ajax call you are supposed to enable this line you should read I mean given by them is to allow the web service to be called from the script using ASP.NET Ajax uncomment this line right so this line is important if this line is not enabled it is not going to make a call to this guy right so now this line is uh, you know uncommented let's run one more time and this time if I make a call check what exactly I got I got a proper response from the server hi from jigsaw in daytime if you don't believe me right now it is 47 now it is 56 it's a time right it's ticking so basically you got the idea I mean what is the benefit of doing this I'm calling uh, my service from the jQuery from the client side the benefit is like when you're working with the ASP.NET you got a huge page you got a bunch of huge control and when you want to call your service by someone one click or some any any way you click the button you hit the push back everything gets posted to the server or what happens <coughs> only your data or what exactly you are requesting get posted to the server and the same amount of JSON response comes back and you can manipulate accordingly on the client side the benefit I get over here is the JSON JSON is very lightweight very lightweight if you have a fiddler you can check like when exactly you send the request and the re response you get back is very light I mean the amount of data transfer is very less which heavily increases the performance of your page okay so that's why the JSON is important thing right the next thing is simply this is a CSS what exactly I did I tell you this is a stupid animation when I click it shows up when I close it I mean like generally you have seen in Google YouTube when you perform some action you get some highlighted bar you click on it it goes away I'm pretty simple nothing shiny what exactly I did is like you know I appended a close image okay and some styling and then I call a close method on which I'm writing that close this div and when I make a request I'm making to show this div on error this is yeah I'm saying show this guy okay background color green color is white text align center I have kept the margin for just you know a little spacing and whatever response I'm getting from there I'm just displaying here sometimes it happens that you may get the collection or anything like that so you should be able to parse it accordingly okay so pretty basic the important thing was this guy only this is the important thing if you understand this you can make any calls okay if you like this please subscribe thank you for watching